I'm not ready. Take Will this. this way? Take that. Is this in focus? <clears throat> I hope it's not. I don't have to see the whole I'm face. not Full speaking to you, sweetie. You haven't taken off your dentures? Here, you you go put them. Orland, go take my dentures and put them home to roost. In the toilet? Okay. Ouch! Ouch! Love you too. Put it back! <gasps> that my stand! You almost broke my stand. This cost me $29 from China. Excuse me, people. I'm back home, shibby doo, and I'm not happy. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. Stupid. I'm about to do it. Bring me my shoes. <sighs> it's your fault, people. Messing up my show, why I ought to. So we're in a little fight because he's saying, oh Nick, I lost 40 pounds while you were gone for six weeks. By the way, yesterday's video, yesterday's vi- Orlin! We're recording, get your, your hymie into the room. Yesterday's video, thank you for all the compliments. I know my merch is amazing. Y'all still have basically a couple of days left until they're all sold out. It's just water weight. My merch is amazing. You all want it. I know you like my merch. They just like to see a train wreck. That's all they really like. <laughs> Give me my shoe. Eat it. Uh! Get my shoe. Fetch my shoe now. How about we say please? I don't say please to you. You think you'd say please? Excuse me, Orlin, try to write this down. Why would I say please to you? Turn. I'm speaking. That's anthropomorphism. 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 Turn the brightness down. I don't speak gibberish and I don't speak Spanish. You barely speak English. I do actually. I do. I do. I'm actually very good. Pick up my shoe. I'm just trying. I'm so that sorry. That is true. For being from a trailer trash, you do speak very good English. You're good. Here you go, honey. Uh, turn the brightness up. Now I look dark. You guys, I'm trying to do Some this. Some more the makeup you put on to cover up your acne. I don't. Stop it now. I, I'm going to. Whip your butt! <sighs> you guys, please excuse me. Please buy my merch, thank you. Also, my cameos, you have four days left. Ow. Oh, you won't heal that very well because of your diabetes. Turn the air conditioning down, I'm sweating. They know you have Turn diabetes. Turn the air conditioning down. diabetes. I identify as skinny. And That's fat. my only identity. Turn the air conditioning down. Go bring me a water in a glass and break. Excuse me, I'm speaking. Look at me when I'm speaking to you. Go get some water and go get some ranch. I have some in the fridge. There's all those dips from yesterday. Bring the ranches and all the sauces. There's like garlic and all this. Just bring everything. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm on a salad. I don't believe in salads. You guys, my cameos, like I was saying, I make personal videos. I send them to your phone. Thank you, everybody. You are helping my dreams come true. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to use this money to buy some presents for myself and give back to the poor and the needy. So thank you. I really, you have four days left with my sale. I'm doing $100 off. So they're usually a lot more than that. Let's see what we got. Vegetables. I didn't order vegetables. It's your fault distracting me. Excuse me. Who's going to eat that filth? You guys, am I? I'm getting out of control. Where's the chance? Where's your neck? Oh, I found it. <laughs> Ouch. Vegetable. Camera on my said you have to eat lettuce. I can't. Orlin, these chair legs are going to snap and I'm going to go down to the ground. Get your little honey over there and pick up that lettuce. Pick it on your honey. You know, you should really ask people to do things nicely. You know? I'm not asking you to do anything nicely. I'm not. I'm not asking Just you. Just like I asked you I, to lose weight and you refuse to lose weight, huh? I love you.
I missed you. You know, I, I enjoyed identifying a single, though. That's actually your side. Nick, edit this out. Edit all this out. I'm sending this to, I'm calling Nancy. I'm calling Nancy. Nancy, this is the proof. He is attacking me with vegetables. How about you call a plastic surgeon? How about you take this out? Let me throw it. Take this out of the room. I'm trying to do my, bring me my soda. One, two, three. It's gonna go straight to your chin. <sighs> Precious soda because it has vitamins and nutrients. Keeping you extra healthy. <laughs> what are you staring at me for? I asked you to do something, go do it. I asked you to bring me all the dips from the refrigerator. There's ranch, there's barbecue sauce, there's hot sauce, there's all those things from that other place, which I'm putting on Nick and Cuddle 3. Go watch! Sorry I'm staring, it's just, it's really hard not to stare at someone so ugly. So what do you want, sweetie? The dips! Where are they? Up your <laughs> hole. Where do you think they are? Up your main, up your cave? I don't have a cave. Get out, I'm tight. You have a tunnel. The tighter the slit, the happier he is. Shh, get it in there. The tighter the cave, the more he craves. Mm. I don't believe in soda. Mm. But I'm doing this for a special occasion. You guys, I didn't order vegetables. What is this? Oh, I'm actually going on the H3 podcast. Apparently, they're getting banned from YouTube. <laughs> they still better pay me. The, uh, and I actually have some things to say to you people who are like, oh. There's these horrible YouTube channels that are YouTubers. They're really just faceless people that just like to write off my name because they're losers and I actually make content I like them. And they're over there saying that I'm a, such a diva for charging for my time. Excuse me! You're the biggest loser though. Please go bring me to the sticky note in the office that has my story time that I'm supposed to be telling you. Now! Are you going to tell them about the time that the doctor said that you're too fat to actually get a gas back I'm gonna go get my sticky note now and zip it. To get away love surgery. That's not true. That's not true. I am perfectly healthy. You guys, I didn't order vegetables. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Just disgraceful. Just look at this disgracefulness. That probably cost me a lot of money. That probably cost me a lot of money. Give me the note. I'm so over you. I'm over you. I'm just over because you. you lost weight and got all skinny mini. Just because you did. Look at the, his facial hair. Oh, look at his facial hair. He did it all. Ouch! <laughs> Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Touch! <laughs> Bam! About what you've been up to. I have it here for Nancy. You guys. In case here. Have you tell the truth about your weight loss, even though you lie about your weight loss? I'm not on a weight loss journey. I never said that. Did I ever say that? Yes or no, people. Yes or no, family. I love cheese. Like when you did the vegan challenge, did you actually end up binging on pizza? That's okay. okay. That's uh, okay. Did you hear something? Did you hear something? I love cheese. And it shows. You look like a cow. Dun -dun. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Shut your mouth! Precious leaves. I'm gonna try my first bite. <laughs> You're a failure. I'm about to throw this pizza in your face. Take my ramen noodles out the way. Mmm, 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 mmm
click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. It's so greasy. Mm. I like their face. It's so amazing. Mm. Yeah. So you guys. They're not very amazing. One. You can count. Where'd you put that? I'm vegan! Give me a napkin! Oh, you wanna touch it? I don't wanna touch bacon! Oh. I already have enough struggles touching a pig! Um, the animals. They, oh, I got stuffed crust. This is a custom made, you guys. I love cheese! Mmm! Mmm! Excuse me! Excuse me! Mm. <laughs> you know, if you stopped eating so much, maybe you might actually be able to see your toes again. You might be actually. I don't see my toes. I don't see my toes. You might be able to see your nails. I mean, how do you see your nails? It literally looks like witch's nails. Where are my notes? Give me my notes right now, please. You have you're, legs. You're you have my legs. You have legs. Why do I have to pay you? Why do I have to pay you? You don't pay me. I do, stop lying. You don't pay He's just trying to be funny because the camera's on. I pay you every <laughs> month. By screaming. Turn. Get my notes. <gasps> that could have hit my face. Ouch, my finger. I was hoping for that. Ooh. Hey, there sweetie. Okay, announcements. Oh. So behind the scenes, I took out over half an hour with Nancy. You'll see. It's on my Patreon. It's basically a half hour of deleted scenes that we can't put on YouTube. Also, heart attack grill scenes with me and the nurse, Nurse Ricky, me and the doctor, Dr. John, and my deleted scenes from Candy and an after show. There's three hours worth of content sitting on my Patreon. Link down below if you want to sign up and watch. Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life, plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. Any, any hidden camera footage of you actually eating a vegetable? No, here. Besides a pizza? Here, here's, here's, here's one. Well, Michelle Obama says this is fine. And today I have a story time for you about how I got discriminated. Just because the weight loss doctor said you can't get surgery doesn't mean he mm. discriminated you. I'm not talking about that story only, sweetie. Okay, sweetie. What's the story, sweetie? I'll say it, sweetie. Can you hurry up and say it, sweetie? Why do you care? They're waiting. Why do you care? They're growing a beard over here, sweetie. Ugh, rude. You have no manners. You are disgraceful. At least I'm not a pig. Uh. Mm, it's so good. <laughs> just, 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 just to impress. And before you say anything about my double chin, it's just why I went all in and asked for all the sauces. What are these things? These are the garlic ones. I want my blue cheese. It's in a big, big black one. You want blue cheese? Give me the big black. You smell like blue cheese. Big black one. Thank you. Huh. Like the Uber driver you cheated on me with. Mm-hmm. Big and black, that's what he was. And he was better than you'd ever be in your entire life, sweetie. That was an, I didn't even swallow. I'm like a snake. Ooh, that was an amazing day. Oh my god. Don't you love it when he leaves the room? It's like, oh, yes, finally. Breath. So, you guys, I'm back home. Shoot video. <clears throat> Yesterday's video. Thank you to everyone who left nice comments about my story time. I see so many Christmas trees. I love you guys. No one left a nice comment. Uh, actually, there's 3,000 nice comments. Mm. I think he meant to say 3,000 thumbs downs. Nope. They can't see them now. So, it might. <clears throat> So, anyways, yesterday I did a long story time about arriving here and how there was a rich lady behind me who was really mean, and there's a, a dumb, dumb Ashley over there with a cat who was really dumb, and there's a guy next to me who I wanted to bang, and that was my story. But it's really funny. Today's story is about how to discriminate going to Walmart. But do you have the stamina to bang him though? Huh? Could you actually huh? bang him though? Huh? Without you know having oopsie oopsies on your chest. Bumpity bumps on your chest. I would have cleaned out before. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh my gosh. I want the blue cheese. The blue cheese. Anyways, so when I was in Las Vegas, I had 
to run in and get some 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 supplies for a video that I was doing with Hungry Fat Chick. Like an animal. Huh? What? I had to go get vitamins so that I was extra healthy. Anyways, I walk in, I carry this book bag, right? Go show me, go get my book bag right now. You know, candy does, go candy get my, does not count as vitamins, by the way. Go count, go get my book bag. Which one? My my purse, the one I've had for five years. You're right? where you keep your candy? Mm-hmm. I don't eat candy, he's just, uh, he's so annoying, he's so annoying, he's so annoyed. I'm about to blast his butt with a frying pan. Pow, get out of my way. Anyways. This book bag, oop. Greasy fingers, hand it to me. He's okay. This is my, they can't see, turn their brightness up one. This is my book bag. This is my man purse. It cost me $5,000, because I know I'm bougie. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I actually got it from Amazon for like 20. And then people come to me, they're like, oh, is that a so-and-so, a so-and-so, a Chanel, Hermes, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what's, uh, yeah, I guess. People think this is expensive. I got it from Amazon for $20. You got it at Walmart, Spons stop buying. Put it down. Anyways, I keep a lot of important things in here. Baby wipes in case, you know, there's an accident. Turn the brightness down one, thank you. Past friends. Perfume in case, you know, I have to meet someone and cheat on my I husband. That. Um, extra deodorant in case I have to, you know, go in there and get my rolls a little freshened up. You also put it in your nether region, so. Oh, this should be, uh, I carry a lot of vitamins, aspirin in case my heart goes bumpity bump, um, different Tylenols, band-aids in case I slip and fall, toothpaste in case I need a fresh up for when I cheat on my husband. Any protection for when you cheat on your husband? Oh, uh, look, floss, toothpaste, mouthwash for when I cheat on my husband, um, eye vision in case they, you know, he releases in my eye, oh, my, oh I'm blind, it was your fault, I have some eye drops in here. I like when our neighbor gave you pink eye. Shh. And I loved every second of it. There's a lot of important things in here. And then in here, we have some hand sanitizer when I'm done cheating on my husband. We have some, um, these are earplugs because I, I'm very sensitive to noise. Uh, Mids to freshen up my breath when I cheat on my husband. Band-aids in case he's too big and he, you know, he makes a bleed back there. We have some band-aids. Yeah, Chapstick for when I cheat on my husband. I'm speaking. Extra masks. My wallet. All of these different things. All of this important stuff. Cough drops in case he chokes and I yeah, cheat on my husband. This is a very important bag. Okay, this is my version of a purse. And there's so many other things. Gloves, in case he wants me to like grab, ooh. Uh, you've done that before. This is YouTube. Please go charge my battery. Battery, in case he wants to record it and I want to make a lot of money. Cheat on my husband. Extra toothbrushes, in case, you know, he can't reach. Okay, so these are my things. The baby, oh, and my travel bidet. My travel bidet. There's people. There's poopy on that. Of course there is. Come clean this thing. So I take this to Walmart. Mind you, they have no more. I'm uh, it's rolling. You're going to pick up the bidet and you're going to go clean it. So uh, there's no more scooters it? available right now. So I have to walk, and I'm already upset about this fact. You don't walk it was a lot. I'm speaking, sweetie. I'm speaking, sweetie. Barely. Actually, no, just plop it back in my bag. Plop it back in my bag. Thank you. Don't hit my face! I see he's planning, conspiring against me. It's like your scale? <sighs> yeah, you're, you're just a liar as my scale. Who, by the way, I smashed into a million pieces on my Patreon. It was so funny. I was like, pow, 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 pow. go check it out. Link down below. Anyways. <sighs> Let me, can, you be, can you actually just be quiet? People are getting annoyed by you. They're getting annoyed by the lymphedema on your face. It's just water weight. Sure, sweetie. I'm not speaking to you, sweetie. <sighs> I love cheese. Dun -dun. <laughs> anyway. Let me swallow. You never swallow. Not to you. So these were free because I'm a great customer. Anyways. <clears throat> What happened was, there's was no more scooters, and it was a busy, busy day at the Walmart. So I had to park far away. 
and my knees hurt, my ankles hurt, I'm swollen. My ankles. My titles matter. But yeah. <gasps> Go get it. Go get it. There's grease on my Go get it, and you're gonna clean the grease. And I don't wanna hear from you again. And if I have to waste more calories scolding you and your honey, you're gonna get it from my attorney. <laughs> Now, why would you drop that? That is so disgusting. The neighbors, the neighbors. There you go. You hear the name? Orland, baby, can you come get this for me? Wait, wait, come back this way. Come back this way, please. Come back this way. Come back this way. Come over here. Please, no. come over here. No. Please, schnickle doodlums. No. The neighbors. The, come back over here, please. No. Which one was it that went know. on the floor that I have to now eat? I don't know how my dyslexia kicked in. Orland, everyone hates you. I went to the Walmart, it was really full. I had to walk, I was really, I was cursing up a storm walking. I have my purse, right? I go to the Walmart and there's this lady, this little itty bitty lady, she's like this tall. And she's standing there with like a bell, ding, ding, ding. And at her feet are three, three book bags. And she goes, stop. You bag, bag, you put bag, bag, I need bag. I'm like, excuse me, lady. What do you mean my bag? I'm gonna leave my bag on the floor. Do you know who I am? I have very important stuff in here. I have my wallet, I have my cell phone, I have my keys to my car. I don't put them in my pockets, they'll make my pants fall down. But I didn't say in this to her, I just said, I'm sorry, why? She goes, that's our rule, that's our rule. Meanwhile, all these ladies are walking past me with these big Chanel bags, these big Michael Kors bags, these big coach bags, these big, Carrying bricks, shoes, and umbrellas, and probably some tasty cakes. One of them probably had a whole bottle of mayonnaise. These these women. I'm like, why am I being stopped for my bag? Yet all these women are walking in with their purses. And I didn't say this to the lady because I I could tell that she. I I I don't know what was wrong. But she wasn't speaking normally. How I spoke to you is how she spoke. And you're normal? Yes. I'm rational. I mean, your weight's normal for an American, but that's about it. So, I said to her, this has my wallet and my medicine. I'm diabetic. I have insulin in here. I finally admit it. Shh. It's for the story. And she goes, no, sir, we put it back here, no, sir. And she starts waving to the, secu the security people. They're like checking receipts. I'm like, I am too good to be shopping at Walmart. They think I'm gonna steal from here, where am I? With the peasants! So I'm like, I'm not leaving, the I'm like, and I just, I got so furious with her, but I wanted to hold my tongue, so I was just like, ah! And I storm out. Meanwhile, my knees are like crunch, 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 crunch. I feel the weight on my bones. I'm walking all the way back to the car, which is far away. It's cold, Las Vegas. It's 40 degrees. I have on my shorts. I have on my waterweight t-shirt. Actually, no, I was wearing my Id identify skinny, which was very appropriate, because let's be real. For this country that's so fanatical about making sure that we're all equal and we all can be who we want to be and identify how we want to be, why are we still living in a country where women can carry these big old tote bags through the store without question? But if men do it, we have to put it away because we might th th throw a Snickers in there. You know, if I have to leave my bag, so does that lady. So does all these ladies. Drop your bags too on the, on the floor. On the floor. On the floor. Now, I just told you, I know it has my bidet and baby wipes from when I leak, but pretend this bag was not $20 from Amazon, and it was actually $500. I'm going to leave my $500 bag at this lady's feet while she rings a bell, ding a ling a ling a ling a ling a and the... I think not. I think not. And she, she, I saw they had like little, little, uh, I'm like, where am I? The zoo? These little wristbands, you get a wristband, a color code with a number, then you pick it up on your way out. Uh, on the floor. So I walk, I walk back to my car. I call Nancy, my attorney. I'm fuming. I had to do double walking now. In the cold. So I call Nancy, and this is what happens. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit and stare. What am I supposed to do? Um, fan me, go. Where's my fanning? 
No, there's pizza here. I'm not fanning you. No, you're no. I'm fanning you. No, you're not. I'm fanning you. No, you're not. No, you're not. Fanning you. You want you wanted a fan. You got a fan. Stop. I know what you're gonna do. He's conspiring. I'm not conspiring. Give me, give me. You are gaslighting me. You are gaslighting me. I'm not gaslighting because I don't believe in gas or lights. Says a human whoopee cushion. So I'm in my car, I'll call Nancy, she doesn't pick up because this is Las Vegas. Nancy lives on the East Coast. <sighs> and while I'm sitting there, there's a man, a cart pusher. It's dark, by the way. He recognizes me. Oh, I'm getting recognized everywhere I go on top of this. I'm fuming, I'm mad. And people are like, Nick Akato, take your breath. Those of you that watched my Instagram this day, I recorded a lot of it on Instagram. I got followed around the store. I got my, I was like the dang paparazzi after me. I was like Lady Gaga. I got my photo taken like 15 times 15 times the workers the cashier people in me in the aisles here and there i have more viewers in vegas than i do in orlando <clears throat> i don't know i i it's just kind of great it was so many people including the cart pusher who was laughing and pointing and texting and his buddy comes over and they start waving and i'm like i'm gonna pretend like i don't see you because you should be doing your job and people always say like, oh my God, how would, I would, how would I react when I see you in public? You would stay away, Ashley. So now I'm furious. I have to leave my book bag. Now these fans know where my car is and now they're gonna see I'm dropping off my purse with my expensive items inside. So I'm gonna file a lawsuit, thank you. I had to get back out, lock the door, walk all the way back to the front of the store. And I saw the lady, I went, Don't! Look at me, lady. And she just kept staring. Excuse me, that's a, that's a real question. Why do we make men stow their bags away, but women can carry 15 bricks in theirs without no questions asked? Hmm. Huh? Hmm. What's so important that women need to bring these big old bags in for? Their makeup, they have to redo their makeup because of that insecure in the little in the little aisles. Blah, 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 blah. I have more important stuff like a bidet and baby wipes. And those crusty women, I swear, 99% of them don't even use bidets. They use toilet paper. They have crusty, hard, crusty, crumbly crumbs on their on their high knees. Disgusting people. And I get stopped and I have to put my bag away. How is that okay in a country, that, again, that's obsessed? Obsessed. Next time I'm gonna go in there and be like, excuse me, this is my purse. This is my purse. Who are you to question who I am? This is my purse, lady. I mean, if you think about it, come on. Oh my God. That's what I get for shopping out the peasant stores. They don't do that to me at the Whole Foods. It's Nancy. Ah. She's wishing me an early Merry Christmas, but she didn't write her, it's an office. Newsletter, yeah. Which one did I, I don't want these now? Honestly, it'll do from the bottom. <sighs> they didn't give me any sauce. Well, I was supposed to get. I'm calling corporate. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. Has garlic. I'm allergic to garlic. You guys, it's really horrible. What would you have done? Uh, people were taking my photos and recording me as this was all going down. As this was all going down. It's just, no. They do that here at the local grocery stores. And I stop shopping there. I send oil out to go get the food. Or we starve. Pick your choice. Because oil doesn't carry the book bag. He's a man that keeps his wallet in his pocket 
Excuse me, there's a limited amount of stretching this fabric can do when I'm moving these tree trunks. I can't have things jutting and poking and scraping up against my thighs. That's extra work and calories burnt to load, lug it around from my legs. I think not. A book bag is more than sufficient. Which, by the way, I'm asking Santa for, for one from Briggs and Riley. It costs like $400, so somebody please buy it for me. Thank you. Oh. And luggage sets. Oh, my God. So I threw my, you all heard yesterday's video, right? I threw my luggage out. It's all busted. I've had it for a lot of years. I need something that's kind of like for a frequent tra I'm a frequent traveler. Let's be real. I'm going to go see Ethan Klein and Hildy on their podcast and all those other people. AJ, BJ, CJ, CC. She looks like a CC. What's her name? Ashley. Hi, team. Well, they all invited me to the show. They're paying me. Oh, that's another thing I want to rant about, but I'll rant about it tomorrow. We're actually going to be reacting to Ethan's 10th video about me tomorrow. I was going to do it today, but I don't, know, I don't feel like editing. Ugh. I'm just going to stick this video on YouTube. Hi, there's no edits. Get over it. Anyways, Hildy's waiting. And that I need proper luggage to fly to California. So I'm about to blow. Not Hildy. <laughs> about to blow three, four grand on some luggage. But it's important. It's actually going to be used. Put it to great use. This has bacon. I don't like bacon. I don't know why I did, but I did. Mm. So that's part of my story. Yes, man purse versus woman purse. Las Vegas discrimination. Then I also have to say, oh, deleted scenes too bad for YouTube. Hard Attack Grill is now live. Videos with Hungry Fat Chicken are now live. My, um, all the parts we had to take out for my collab with Nancy are is now live. Please be a grown up to follow that place, by the way. No, no, not please be. You have to be. It's still all. Ooh. Ah. I have it. Have you noticed I'm not burping? I usually I usually burp when I have soda. So don't you think that's a form of discrimination? I think so. And I told her I have my diabetes. If I would have had a diabetes attack at that store, and I didn't have my medication, and I was told to, to leave it away from my body. Make it rain, lawsuit dance. Make it rain, lawsuit dance. Oh my gosh. Well, next time I'm just gonna keep it and say, I'm sorry that I have some medication in here. What are they gonna do, tackle me to the ground? They, I, I should say, you know what? You wanna hire someone to follow me around at my shopping experience here? Go right ahead. If you really think I'm gonna take something from here, go right ahead. Hire a man to follow me around while I shop the whole time. Cause I'm not putting down my bag. And then on the way out, they check your receipt. I know the country's kind of struggling right now for some people, a lot of people. <sighs> But that's no excuse to take things that don't belong to you. And I highly, 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 highly disagree with the notion that if you steal under a thousand dollars, you should just be able to walk out with it, no questions asked. Huh. I sometimes can't believe this is this 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 is what's happening. What? It's just 
It's just mind-boggling. Oh my gosh. Just, uh. And uh, you know, it's one thing when I see people making the argument like, oh, these are poor, 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 poor peasants that need something to eat. They're not stealing apples and bananas, Ashley. They're stealing iPads and fancy bags that have name brands on them because they want to feel like they're elevated because they want these proper material possessions. It's a problem. It has nothing to do with survival needs. Oh, well, they might take it and then sell it so they can have money to go buy those apples and bananas. Oh, no, 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 no. You're really going to play these, these mental gymnastics to tell them that people need to go steal TVs to hurt others and take things that they didn't earn. And that they're going to go just sit on the street and try to sell it from some cash so they could go buy some ramen noodles? I think not. I think not. I went to Walmart yesterday. I got a loaf of bread for 36 cents. <coughs> Orlin! Orlin! I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it to you. <coughs> I'll prove it to you. This is coming from someone that used to be on food stamps. This country has so many things that can help you. The whole notion. Can you please bring me um, that loaf of bread that I got from Walmart? That's 36 cents. Yes. Thank you. Or did you eat it all? No. But you will. No, I won't. I'm allergic to carbs. I'm like, what? So I'm afraid to go to California. I can have to get 5,000 locks for my car. Idiots! Is this fostering excellence in our society? Is this encouraging personal development? I think not. Is this helping those in need? Actually, no. It's making people less, less, less. And dependent. Zoom in. See that number right there? See that number? 36 cents. <sighs> 36 cents. <sighs> Thank you, Walmart. But no, let's just go steal from Walmart. The, one of the best things that's actually helping people. <clears throat> oh my god. No ma'am, no ma'am. There's no, there's no excuse. Oh, uh, well they're needy. Orleans family was needy, but they came here with $2 in their pocket and they worked for something. They inspired, they created. They did, they opened businesses. They worked hard, they, they had double jobs. They did, they, come, they came and contributed. They didn't just take and then demand more. of my family immigrating from Russia. The same story. Same story. Same story. Orla and I used to work at this uh, fruit farm in Florida many years ago. This lady came from Haiti and she had all these workers from Jamaica. They were so proud to be contributing help of course, my camera dies in the middle of my speech. I don't know how much you heard of that. Cheapers, creepers. Everyone asks all the time, like, why does your camera keep, like, because it shuts off after 16 minutes. It's Canon G7X. Look it up. That's what it does. Um, I don't know how much. I was just telling that I, I've known a lot of people in my life who were poor, okay? Peasants, like me. Like so many people in this country. We're all peasants. That's going to be my new merch. I identify as a peasant. That doesn't relinquish right from wrong because you have less than someone else and that means I should just take a TV that I didn't work for or hurt someone or destroy property that doesn't belong to me oh they're so needy most the world's needy Ashley God, this country's disgusting sometimes. Maybe it's because I've lived all over the world. I lived in Cambodia, I lived in Colombia, I've, I've gone to Thailand so many times. I've seen people on the streets selling little, little, cr uh, little crinkles, little uh, trinkets. 
you know, little patties in Mexico, little corn patties for 20 cents so they can get the, afford the bus to go home. Like everyone works. Everyone works. That's just, it makes me so upset. And that's, I, I, you know, and this is to you, Ethan Klein. What was I going to say? Oh, well, you work, I know, but... <sighs> I'm just not looking forward to going there. Last time I went to California, I cried in my car for like three days straight. I had two meltdowns on camera. I was so distraught by the trash and destruction. I, I, I couldn't believe my eyes. Oh my god. All the places I lived in Malaysia, five times, thousand times nicer. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just... So yes, why do you live there? I just gotta say. I've been talking to their producers. I heard that he couldn't post. I saw him post something about not being able to post on his Instagram, YouTube, something. Um, I, I wonder if that was just for dramatics, because let's be real, dramatics. You're gonna tell me you don't have a contact? I have two contacts at Google. Google and YouTube. Anything happens. I write them up. We connect. We have conference calls. If I can have people, where are your people? Where are you? I'm okay. Cheapers. You know, they help me take down channels that harass me or steal from me. They help me give me advice. They go over my analytics. They help me with any concerns I have, like this button stopped working, or this got demonetized, why? And they'll tell me why, or they'll say, oops, it was a mistake. I mean, it's just basic old business, communication. Work, work, work with someone. But Ethan, why don't you have someone? He had to tweet it. <clears throat> he had to tweet the at YouTube people. <sighs> That's for show. I mean, I'm sure he was really upset, but he ain't asking the Twitter handle to help with his channel. He has to have people to ask for help. He has to. There's no way he doesn't, and I do. <sighs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Is this enough food? I keep going for the pepper. Honestly, I don't really like the bacon, and I don't know about all these vegetables, to be honest. I... Uh, I, I actually sometimes like um, uh, green peppers on my pizza, but not today. I don't like it today. And these were free, so I don't feel as bad not eating them, but y'all know Orland, he'll come in here and have my leftovers. Oh, someone left a comment for him. No, don't gain all your weight back now that Nick's here. Don't let him influence you. I don't know, he's staying vegan. Today he had vegan cheeseburger with vegan cheese on a vegan bun. What else do you have? A vegan pita bread with avocado. Vegan rice ramen, rice noodle ramen. A, ban a banana smoothie, some fruit, chia seeds, a kombucha, crackers, and he's staying all vegan. You know what's crazy? Orlin lost 40 pounds just eating vegan. Maybe that's what I should do. <laughs> Vegan month. I mean, it's kind of like amazing, but also like scary. Like, why is your body just not retaining anything? And you're eating all this food. He's like, Nick, I'll literally, I'll eat anything as long as it's vegan. Oh no. So that's why he's gonna go crazy because his mind will rot. Yeah, he had vegan yogurt. Our fridge is stuffed with vegan food. Vegan meat, vegan sausage, vegan turkey. That reminds me, I have to respond to that vegan lady on my TikTok. Ugh. You know, she's actually wrong by a light. Listen, 
you're gonna talk about health, you better know what you're talking about. She's just wrong. Actually, I'm not responding. Deserves no airtime on my channel. Who's she? Like, who is she? <laughs> Don't care. Mm. But she was a thing on TikTok, and um, that'd be a good place to respond on TikTok because she can't respond back because she got banned for making too many videos targeting people. You can't do that. You shouldn't do that. It's too far. I have to burn too many calories to get it. Ugh. Oh my god. You guys. I'm honestly. Getting full. Which I should. I basically eat an entire pizza. I eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna whack this over my head. I'm sorry for choosing to choose. Oh, goodbye. Let me have one of these little things. I feel like a rabbit. Here I go. my digestion. It's your fault. Oh, I only have wet clothes. Ooh. Wet clothes on you is the worst feeling ever. Isn't it? It's the worst feeling to like get caught in the rain. I love the rain. I like to listen to it. I like to watch it. <sighs> but with clothes, it reminds me of the time I went to the amusement park and I went on those little sploosh rides. It's like, it's like this boat roller coaster and it goes down the hill into a water. And you know, I would always wear a shirt because I was very self-conscious. Now, oh my gosh, I love to show it off. Huh. As you know. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to go to the beach again. I just love to like, well you saw, y'all saw my Instagram. I posted a video, of, actually no, it's here on YouTube too, Nikocado Shorts, my other channel. I, I just ran around, shook it around. Ah, I got so excited. I love to know people are looking. It makes me, you know, happy. <laughs> I love to show off my, my, um, my weight loss journey. Let's just say that, my weight loss journey, which has been wonderful. I like to show off people my progress and inspire people. Um, but when I was a kid, I was very self-conscious. I used to always wear a shirt at the beach and always wear a shirt at the pool and always wear a shirt at the amusement park on the water rides. Which is probably good for sun damage too, but it was not because of the sun. I didn't care about the sun when I was a kid. Now I, now I care about the sun, but back then I did it. It was, I was like self-conscious about my roles. Now I'm like, let's show it off. You know, it's just a mental thing too. Kids don't want to be fat of water, water weight. You know, they feel like it's a horrible thing. Now I'm like, it's just water weight. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. It's just water. And you know, I identify as skinny now. So I changed my identity. Came out as skinny and we're done. Yay, life is great. <laughs> well, I basically ate more than an entire pizza. So I had three slices for here. So there's two, there's one, two left. So I had one pizza and one slice. 
That's pretty good. How many calories are in a pizza? 2,000? Oh, that's not food. I'm going to starve today. Oh, that's right. I already filmed another mukbang this morning. How can I forget? I have some chicken and french fries. That's going to go out on Nikocado 3 tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe to my third channel. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys later. Don't forget to um, cleanse your cleanse yourself. Are practicing trumpets. Trumpet sound, blah blah blah. It's not Christmas Eve. <sighs> Gabriel's oboe up in here. <laughs> Anyways, please get yourself a waterweight t shirt, iconic classic from the Nikocado store. Link down below. I know you can't get it delivered by Christmas because Christmas is in two days, but they're still available. They haven't sold out yet. Probably by January, they'll be gone. January 1st. So you still have time if you want one to support my channel and also let the world know how you are fat of water and get yourself a cameo. I That is still going on a sale. You still have three days if you want to book me to make a video for you and I can't wait to meet you and make something personal to you. Hey, Bob. It's me. And um, any other announcements? Not really. Oh, all those things I mentioned on Patreon. Follow my Instagram. Follow my TikTok. Follow all my YouTube channels. Y'all know the drills. And that's that. I'm here. I'm back with Orlin. <sighs> Let the games begin. Bye. Ooh, Alexa, just remind me to take my vitamins. Hi, it's me. I'd like to thank all my patrons for supporting this video and an even bigger thank you to my executive producers, Jamie Baby Cotto, Princess Abby, and C Butter. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra, or if you just want to see the real unfiltered side of these videos, click the link in the description box and consider joining all of us over on Patreon. You'll get to see weekly videos and a much more candid side of me. Oh, and by the way, you have to be a grown up to follow. Patreon's really for my closest followers only and and new openings become available on a first come first serve basis. So if you see an opening, hurry up. If you want to hear from me personally, get yourself a video directly from me on Cameo, where I can surprise you with a video straight to your phone or your computer. You can also hire me to tell off your friend. If you want more, check out my merch store and get yourself a waterweight t-shirt. Patreon, Cameo, and merch are all linked in the description box. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.